Hello, my name is Gabriel from Gabac USA. In this video, we are going to talk about what kind of modular crimper or whatever tool you want to use in order to make the RJ45. So if you have to make patch cord or whatever else in your network, you're going to need a very good Ethernet. I mean, you're going to need a very good uh, tool. So what I, I'm saying is because I'm going to tell you a little bit about the one little story and I'm going to tell you the um, the brand. So I had some, some problem like a few years ago when I was living in, in Argentina. So I, I went to the customer and I, I, I had one of these uh, I had one of those uh, modular creep, uh, creeping tool and it was a not very good brand but you know I said well I went to the business they say yes yeah, very good it's all metal so it will last okay great I mean never buy the plastic one the plastic one are very crappy so never buy one of those and try to stay with, with this uh, so um, I was thinking well everything is fine everything should work uh, as well so I went to the customer. I went. I, I was starting making the. I started making the the cables and, and everything. So I I finished the cable and everything, both ends, and I plug it in, and I said, "Well, what's something is wrong? I mean, it's not working. Or it's something. Or it's working in, intermittently." So I was thinking, "Well, I mean, the cable is fine. The everything is fine." and the computers are fine and say what is going on here so after a while a few hours uh, trying to to discover i mean what was uh, wrong with the with the, everything that i was doing so i said oh here i have another one and i found i found one of my perf uh, my uh, favorite tool it was a uh, pro kit so the brand is pro kit is that he, that brand is, is very good and say okay I'm going to make it again but with the same I mean with the same ending it's not that I, I took it away and I cut the the ends and I, I remake it so I I just crimp uh, crimp it again and it's, everything is done working so the the issue was that some of the contact was not doing was not doing a, was not making a very good a contact so that was the issue and after that everything uh, <laughs> turned out uh, well and that that was my experience so if you are going to buy don't don't buy the, those cheap one that you you may find any anywhere try to get a very good uh, brand like fluke look they they make very good uh, um, tools also uh, Prokit, like i said before maybe AMP that is another brand that is from Europe usually they they have very good uh, devices I, I don't know if Furukawa on the other one is Panduit I don't know if they make those kind of tools but uh, you can research at least the cables are, are very, very good on those brands so that is my take uh, today so make sure don't don't be a penny pincher and try to go buy a very good tool otherwise you you will start having some headache because these kind of, of things also even if you're using a, the detector to see if the if there is continuity on both ends it may say yeah it's it's working but indeed it's not working as intended so that is my advice for today. I hope it was useful. Remember to subscribe and see you next time. Bye.